Hi dears, it's the Thanksgiving season. So today you get to see how to make this fascinator that I made for a bride's Thanksgiving. She gave the pieces of material left over from the sewing of her cloth and I used it to make this fabulous sequence Emirate satellite fascinator. It's a good thing to give thanks really. So if you haven't been doing so daily, begin to count your blessings and name them one by one for a grand Thanksgiving this year. So without wasting much time, let's dive into today's tutorial. The Amazon links of the items used in making this Thanksgiving fascinator will be in the description of this video below. Let's take a look at them physically. Pieces of material, of course. Remember, this is what my client gave me, the bride who wants to use it for Thanksgiving. Okay, that's sequence material there. Then you have your thick crinoline. Now this is 2.5 in two sorry two inches of thick crinoline. Then you have your veil. One yard will be okay, although this two yards, but one yard it's okay to make this project or rather this bride's tense giving attire. Then you need your hat wire 1.5 mm gauge, then uhu gum, your measurement tape, your electric glue gun with the glue sticks, your elastic band. Your emirate cap, this is called small emirate cap, or your emirate cap, your cutter, my best cutter in the world. <laughs> then your needle. I make use of the average size needle, not the small, not the big, the average size, the medium size. Your scissors, and also matching thread to the material you'll be using. So let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do is measure out the piece of material that you're going to be using to cover up your hat wire. Now in this case my material is sequence, that's what the bride gave me for her Thanksgiving. And so I'm measuring out 3 inches. Now this 3 inches we're going to use it to form what you call the bias. You know we have cinnamon bias, we have the normal bias. So this is what you're going to be using for your bias. So now I'm cutting it out. I've measured it 3 inches. Since I'm going to be making use of um, 44 inches of hat wire, this is going to be 3 inches by 44. Now this is how you're going to fold it. You bend from the left side, then you bend from the right side, and then you take it to the sewing machine, and you're going to sew it all the way down. The next phase is to measure your hat wire. Now, remember I told you the cloth, you cut it by 44. Yeah, that's because the hat wire, we're going to cut it 44 inches. I'm going to use that great cutter of mine and chop it up. Now, the next thing you want to do is take your hat wire, join it together like so, overlapping it like one inch on each side, and you take your thread and begin to wrap. Now, you want to make sure that your thread does not overlap on each other. That's so that you don't have a bump there. So keep watching and learning how I wrap the hat wire with thread. Please do let me know you like this video at the end of the video by giving me a thumbs up. Yes, let me know if you gained value from this video with a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up button below this video. I decided here to also get masking tape and wrap it up at the two edges, not necessary, but because I didn't cut the thread so to the edge and I wanted to ensure that the thread doesn't loosen, so I cut it, but you cut it thin if you must do this so it doesn't bump. You can see how I'm making it very thin across, so that's what I did. Okay, then you take your veil once you're done, some take, um, some call it net, I call it veil because it looks much like a veil. So one yard would do as I told you. In fact, you won't finish using the one yard. So you wrap it like this. Ensure you don't make it squeeze. You want to keep that round shape. So you ensure that you're not squeezing it too tight. You just squeeze it enough to keep it shape and it's tight and firm and forming those twists around there. Can you see those things like pleats? Then you take your needle and thread and begin to sew it. As you're sewing and you're tying round, see I'm taking it round underneath you ensure you're grabbing every part so that when you cut it out it doesn't loosen so this is how I sew it continuously to ensure that 
it wasn't losing once I'm done so I finished that so I'm gonna tie up not my thread once I'm done with that I will cut off the excess there just close to the thread that I tied the next step is to cover up your emirate cap with the sequence material or the material you're making use of to see how to cover it completely, you can check the description of this video as I would put in the link of where I did it in my previous video. This is not complete, so you need to check that link below. Then you sew it to the hat wire covered with veil. After you do that, you cut up the cut off the veil in the center and cover up the edges with bias. All these are done in that video I said I dropped in the link. If you have been following me on YouTube channel, you must have seen the video already. But if you're new to my channel, probably you haven't seen it and you don't know how to do it. Just check the link in the description of this video. Thank you. Let's keep on watching and learning. Okay, now our sequence bias is ready. You want to check the back or the front. That's what I'm doing, checking the back. Okay, so that's where you're going to place your uhu gum on it. Now, this is what we're going to use to cover up the edge of the hat wire so that's how i'm doing it like this and you want to make use of your pegs as usual so you work very fast while gluing you don't have to wait for it to glue so that's what i'm going to do all the way around so keep watching and learning <music> If you've noticed, I've always been referring to a previous video that I've made. So if you don't want to miss out on any of my DIYs, I would advise you just pause this video right now and click the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any DIY trainings. Keep watching and learning. So now I'm checking the size of the bow that I would want. So you can do this because in case you want your bow bigger than mine, this is how I check because I'm going to be placing it like this all around. I'm just checking the various sizes. And when I got the size that I was okay with, I cut it off. So I will show you when I measured it so you'll see the size that I finally made use of. So here it is, the measurement of the loops is 12.5 the extra 0.5 is because you're going to finally sew that part then you're going to cut out strips of your material in this case the sequence and the width is 0.5 inches and i'm going to cut it at a length of 12 inches remember my loops my thick crinoline i cut them 12 inches for the loops and the next thing you want to do is use your uhu gum and put on it you're going to see what i'm going to do what i did to decorate the thick line now you want to make sure that if your material is a material that frills you need to make a bias form of it first of all before you do what I just did what I'm about to do rather so this is what I did I placed it in the middle can you see just like so okay all right so keep watching and learning okay so the next thing is to form the loops I've done for this is how you do it you just fold it into two squeeze them together and sew it like so okay so remember there are five and that's the five this is how you put them all together so keep watching and learning
done with that, you take what you have done before and you place it at the position you want it to be. That's the way you sew it. Keep watching and learn. <music> Once you're done with that, you can place it on your head and then figure out where you want your elastic band to be. And what I did after this was I put some dashes of feathers on it. Also put some of the sequence stones on it too. And it was looking absolutely gorgeous. So in the link that I put in the description below, you would see how to attach the elastic band and do other things that I have mentioned previously. So this is how it turns. Doesn't it just look so gorgeous for Thanksgiving? Yeah. So, as I say, make your Thanksgiving flamboyant. <laughs> Alright, so till my next video is goodbye and God bless.